So, do you remember when we did our first test when we had everything except 39 and no voltage offset? And we run our benchmark and straight away we hit PL2 and EDP other. Well, I've looked into this a little bit more and you can do some clever tricks. Uh, it's a global setting. So it's not per one of these. Well, that's obviously, you know, where you can change your these settings here and you can have more precise control. If you go to TPL and PL is the bit really we want to concentrate, and that's what this is here. This top bit here, which I thought wasn't actually activated, and it certainly is for the, the razor blade that I've got. This turbo boost short power maximum is actually what your PL2 is. You can't, ch you can change all this, but they didn't do nothing. But you can change this value here, and you can do some very clever tricks with it. So, as you can see here, by default, for my machine anyway, for my razor blade, it's 80 watts. So what this is saying here, that we have actually managed to hit 80 watts. Now, if we go to the maximum power here, I'm going to just cancel that, sorry. If we go to the maximum power here, look, we hit 80 watts. So what we want to do now is we want to say, well, I don't want to hit 80 watts. I want to hit less, and I don't want to be messing around with all, you know, the, the FIVR and everything else. I just want to do a global change. Change that figure to say, well, actually, um, we had a nice sweet spot of 49. You have to type it in manually, which is a bit of a pain. So we could say 49 watts is the maximum that we want to go to. Okay. So if I just clear all this and clear this again, take this off, and then run a little test. So now you see we're hitting 49 watts all the time. That's why it's hitting flashing red. But, you know, we're keeping everything nice and cool. And we're telling the laptop, you are not going to go higher than 49 watts. And that means it should last quite a long time before we get PL1. And PL1 means you've, you've been told to go back down to 45 watts, normal operating temperature of your CPU. You know, we're running at maximum voltages and everything. So if you're not happy with changing any of these settings, I'd still change all these to 39 or 40 or whatever. There's no point not doing them all the same. Going on forever here, so let's just stop all that. Now what you can do is something extremely clever, is you can say, I only want to run at 35 watts. No. Yep. Clear everything down. If I run, click start now, you'll hit PL2 because we're actually hitting a 30 watts. And you notice here, look, we are not going any higher than 35 watts. And the machine automatically works out what frequency you're going to get for that. Now, if you want more frequency at 30 watts, you're going to have to do a little bit of tweaking on the power. So you actually use less watches in the first place and then you get more oomph. So I thought that was quite interesting. It will never hit PL1. Because you know, a PL1 only kicks in if you go above 45 watts and then go down. I only want to be running at maximum 45 watts, so we're not capped. Go back to TPL. 45. Apply. And. I need to really clear this because you can see it anyway on here. Let's do a quick start. And there you are, 45. Thanks very much for watching. Bye for now.